everything you need to start your morning. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. George Zimmerman, at least for now. A judge ordered him back to jail after learning some potentially damaging details about his finances and what prosecutors say he and his family were hiding from the court. So attorney Felix Vega is back with us this morning to discuss the latest details in this uh, ongoing legal drama. Good morning Good to you. Good morning, Kristen. All right, first up, let's clear up why Zimmerman has to return to jail. Explain the claims that he was hiding money. This was very interesting and this all came out in this motion to revoke bond at the prosecution filed on Friday and really you have to go back to the original factors that the judge had to consider. We can take a look at some of those for his original bond. The source of the funds, that is what really hung up the judge the other day. Whether or not he was a flight risk, the danger to the public and really determining whether a high bond versus no bond at all. And those were the factors he originally considered when sending the bond at $150,000. We know the state wanted a million dollar bond. His lawyers argued for a $15,000 bond, which was very low. But in the end, when you look at it. He said that that's all the money he had available. We heard all the testimony from his wife and his family members. That's all that they could scrape up. Now, going back to a um, release of his uh, bank records that came out on May 18th, prosecutors smelled blood in the water. They start mm. to the, go into the jail calls, which people like to talk when they're mm. in jail. And that's what we're going to talk about next. Right. Those jailhouse conversations between Zimmerman and his wife. The audio comes out tomorrow. But we do already have details. What do you know about the conversations between them? It was very interesting because basically we know that George Zimmerman went into custody on April 11th. And we know that he, once he was in jail on the 12th, according to the jail calls, we can pull up the uh, motion to revoke bond here. And I'm just going to go through some of the contacts that he had between his wife and himself on the 12th. They are already talking about access to the accounts and switching the access. So she has access to the money that we now know $135,000 that was in there. You go on to the uh, 15th, they're talking about in code $10,000 versus $15,000, uh, paying $100,000 in bond as well. And also on the 16th, this was the most interesting thing is that actually she is in the bank in the credit union on the speakerphone with George Zimmerman on the line telling the bank representative to switch the password over so she can get access to the account. It was all recorded on the jail call and so they were very mm. brazen in what they were doing and planning to keep that money secret and also have access to it as much as possible and that was really um, one of the things that really uh, angered the judge on Friday and caused him to revoke Bond. It's always interesting to hear what's said on those jail Absolutely. calls. Another bombshell this week, Zimmerman had a second passport that he did not surrender to the court. What are the possible repercussions of that? Well, and this, it, not only the passport issue, because the, and the, the passport issue was interesting too, because again, going back to the jail calls, they discussed that at some point on April 17th, that he remembered that he had another passport. She says, quote, I have one for you in the safety deposit box. They never intended to turn it over. And so when they go to court, and you're, Mark Romero's in a situation where he's constantly going and saying, well, this was um, you know, just a mistake, it was an oversight, and that was, in fact, the problem in the case. And so what, what's going to happen is that they're going to have to judge his credibility as well because he has to now atone for all these mistakes that they keep calling him when in fact they're not really mistakes. He's actually going in and actually hiding information from the judge. Wow. Okay. Now, um, we'll talk about this next time, but you know, the media is trying to get the rest of the evidence released and uh, none of the attorneys want that, but we'll get to that another time. Thank okay. you so much for being with us. Oh, this no morning. problem, Kristen. My we pleasure. I always appreciate it. Thanks. All right. We'll be right back.